It is a lovely day, mid-60s in Portland in this first weekend of October underway as it is the Portland Timbers wearing green. It is Inter-Miami wearing white. And then Gonzalez Perez comes across to clean that one up. And Miami, one of the poor performing teams defensively on set pieces this year. Spurrier was there and he puts it wide. And the way that this ball is hidden, he's completely unmarked. And he's just trying to redirect it at goal to snap that neck back and generate some of that power. Iguain a little bit too far at that near post. Still, those two are battling. Still to be able to keep it, though. Spree making the run from Jimmy Charles. Going to get there. Spree got a touch from Shea. And it bounces just wide out for a corner. On the tackle here from Breck Shea at the end, recognizing Aspria was trying to take this shot early. Gloria. After Van Rankin. This is where you miss a guy like Blanco or Valeri in these types of spots where you have some possession. Blanco clipping that up. Moore is going to get to that one. has been forced into a save. That was like in slow motion. That ball hung in the air. No one came to it in a white shirt. Really no pressure on the ball here. Pizarro just standing off. Miami settled back deep defensively, but it was a nice run for Moore. He started inside, and actually the flight of the ball took him outside the penalty box, and the six-yard box, rather, and he's trying to hook it back and get contact towards that far post. Good-looking ball there from Bravo, though, with the early cross in and just caught Miami off guard going back defensive. Loft on it allowed Marsman to come out and get it. Jimmy Char out, dueled there in the middle. Bizarre doesn't need to make that run into the space. Gregory crossing. Breck Shea's going to get there at the end. Shea cutting it back. Iguain, first look of the day. Saved by Clark. Rebound not fully dealt with. And now Van Rankin is going to get there only as far as Gregory. Gregory tees it up. It was blocked and then cleared by Mamiola. Here's Gregory. He just kind of picks his head up and says, okay, I'm going to deliver this one in. Nobody in the box, but it finds Shea. And this was a good strike from Iguain. Got on top of it. Got it on target. It's through traffic. Zuperich, the center back into the middle, too far for Mora. There, he scores! Recycled ball by Jimmy Chara, but an offside flag in that sequence. It would have been pretty easy to be unorganized in that type of moment when you're stepping up off of a corner kick, trying to step your line. Now for Foshive. Find the backdoor option, Jimmy Chara. a great move off the ball from Jimmy Char. He just catches Gregory sleeping here. He thinks he's tight with him as soon as he looks the other way. Char sneaks him behind. It's a great pick out. The game is stretched. The game's opening up. It doesn't feel like they have that extra oomph in the attacking moments and they've lost the possession. Shea going to bring that down for Miguel. Clark down to make the save. Fifth of the game. Third away by Zuperich. He's ready. 83rd minute of a scoreless game. Will swing this in. It's knocked out of bounds. It's in. It's a goal. It's Nia's goal. Nine for 11. Come on. Of the game is off of a corner. And we said that Blanco would play quickly. It wasn't a super fast corner, but Miami not back set defensively. And Nia's goal just floats in right around the six yard box and pokes it home. Completely uncontested. All the Miami defenders look at each other saying, who's picking up that man right there? Sometimes you don't know your marks when a team has made a substitution. It's just going to be blasted forward. Is there time enough for Inter-Miami to get this ball upfield? No, there isn't. The game ends. 83rd minute. Winning.